Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video. And in today's video, we have the new PKA Season 4 Prime Whitebeard with the New Year celebration. And in today's video, we're going to be diving into our run with the Auto Marco or Momo teams. Now, Momo works the best for this particular New Year celebration, mainly because Momo is a slasher free spirit booster, and basically the entire batch of New Year's is slasher centric so we're going to be using momo in today's video with the uh mini bosses you do want to keep them quite low and in today's video we're going to be utilizing the boosted team so the team looks a little bit like this we are using double momonosuke with the host ship so that way we can maximize our exp gains and utilizing these mini bosses with the batch is not only going to get you a lot of turtles very very quickly but it's also going to get your account a lot of exp so that way you can build up your pirate level and hit that covenant 1000 which i'll i'll eventually get to all right we're going to be taking on Top Musica in today's video. Um, this team should work for both Top Musica and for uh, Brook, but it's basically just an auto team. You can just basically hit the auto button and just let it rock. At level 1, the debuffs are so minuscule that you don't even have to worry about them. You get the exact same drop chances as well as the same EXP. Don't ask, don't ask me why it's like that. It just is. Um, it's pretty poor game design if you ask me. But at the end of the day, like, look, it is what it is, and we may as well maximize what we can from that. Um, as you do want to try and just sort of, like I said, maximize the rewards you get, maximize the EXP that you can get, and all that fun stuff as well. I don't know what's going on with my actual um, recording software here. It seems to be glitching a little bit, so I do apologize about that. Uh, Uta puts up a um, defense up, I believe. Um, so we have the Brook support on Zoro Sanji. That way we can sort of just get around it that way. I believe there's defense up on the final stage for this particular variation as well. But as you guys can see with me, I'm sort of just tapping. And the reason that I'm just tapping is because it's just quicker. Momo has end of turn damage and stuff like that. And most of these stages will not have um, end of turn damage. Oh, sorry, normal attacks only. But sort of just single tapping makes it very easy. I don't know why it's glitching so much. I might have to like like reboot it for the next video because I, I don't, just don't get what's going on. Um, so I do apologize if it does seem a little bit glitchy. But as you can see, I like just hit the auto button if you really want to and... And that's going to work out. But if you are running the batch, you will have Roger and Odin. And the big reason I haven't been hitting auto is because when you get to the final stage, you can literally just do this and it'll just kill that final boss. Whether it's Brook, whether it's um, Top Musica, it's going to do really, really nice stuff. I don't think Brook has the um, damage limiter on the final stage. So, um, or at level one. So you should be absolutely hunky dory there. So. That's the mini boss. Like I said, the team should work very nicely across the board. You have supports to get around all that nasty stuff. And uh, that way, as you can see, because you're using boosted characters, you're still getting a lot of total rewards, which is going to help you guys get to that Covenant 500 very, very fast. I would recommend doing the uh, PvP fight as much as possible. That's just going to guarantee you guys a lot of extra rewards. And highly recommend prioritizing the green tickets. So that way, you guys can actually start building up Enough resources to get your hands on that free-to-play Sugofest exclusive ace, who seems... He seems okay. Like, he seems like an okay unit. Nothing too crazy, but... Um, he is very, very expensive if you do want the full investment. And the green ticket's value, because you need 300, I believe, for one copy of ace. That's going to be a lot for most players, especially if you are trying to max out other characters in that shop. Um, a, lo a lot of people aren't going to have access to that straight away. So, um, yeah, this... This um, glitching problem seems to be like a, a serious issue, so I might actually sort of just close it, close my app and then and try and reopen it there. So, um, but yeah, like I said, try and do the PvP fight because the PvP fight is going to give you a reward once you hit level 100 of the final boss, or if you keep the final boss at a very low level, like below level 20, you will be able to take on the both mini bosses along the way. But as you guys know, I like to try and get to the the. Uh, final boss over level 100 as quickly as possible for you guys so that way I can actually put out some teams So I'm going to prioritize Sanji statues this run as well because quick is going to be like the characters you want to bring You want to sort of build out a quick team um, And then you can do it there. So let's just get to this final stage here as you can see we are at level 40 This is between 40 and 60. This will work uh, And if you want to just get to that sort of level 59 and just farm out exp there 
So here we go, level 46. Like I said, between level 40 and 60, you are going to have good results with this team. Uh, basically, level 40 to 59 is going to have the same debuffs, and they are all very, very low. So you are going to be able to just take down the quest very easily. Now, we are running double Momo for this quest, so that way everyone is boosted. Like I said, the whole New Year's batch are all centric around slashes. So utilizing Momo, it, it does make the most sense. Uh, unfortunately, Marco doesn't really boost anyone. So if you guys don't have Momo, you might have to do some hybrid shenanigans. But look, if you keep the mini boss at a very, very low level, um, you probably could run double Marco. But ideally, you just find a Momo friend captain and then run your own Marco. So that way you're maximizing your EXP. But you're still getting some sort of boost from, from Momo here. As for replacements on this team, um, you can basically just replace anyone on this team with any boosted units uh you, i will put out another run without the batch and that way you guys can sort of get an understanding of like what's going on with stuff like shanks and some of those other like more free-to-play characters stuff like the pk luffy the peak uh the kazuna kid those types of units that are a lot more accessible but um this team actually works really really well um sorry i was meant to tap with the one orb so that way we actually get the end of turn damage and that attack boost um carry over and then we can move on to stage four. There is special bond on stage three, so the riser support works really, really well. On stage four, there's paralysis and damage reduction. The idea here is just to uh, not worry about the damage reduction and sort of just tap our way through. And with auto, you're probably going to have good results. Ideally, start as the quick variation of Yamato and Sanji. But hey, look, we're here, we move, and uh, as you can see... Just how the tapping your way through actually works very, very nicely. Again, auto, it's going to do the trick for you. There's nothing too crazy about it. Um, the final stage, wipe it, blows everything away. But the reason I'm not clicking auto is so I can literally do this on the final stage. And it just instantly kills. So that's going to wrap up the level 40 to 60 EXP farming team. Like I said, if you guys have these particular characters, you are going to maximize not only your EXP, but you're also going to maximize your total gains. So that way, by the time you guys get to the 500 turtles, you're going to be getting a lot of EXP too. If you want to keep this boss at level 40 or 59 or whatever it is, to sort of maximize both for a long period of time and then blitz your way to 150 at the end. I know a lot of people use that strat to sort of maximize um, EXP farming, but that team's going to do bits. It's going to do really, really well. But if you guys want to see a non-boosted team, Make sure to hit the bell notification so you guys can check out that. While you're down there, bell, like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.